Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovering science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids. Adventurous kid Duane went to Naples Zoo in Naples, Florida and saw the amazing animals there. Audience, enjoy the animal country of Naples Zoo. Stay blessed. Welcome to the Naples Zoo. Sea turtle. Somewhere in Florida, right? What do you know about the ghost token? Look at them vultures. <laughs> See this guy? What is he? A tawny frog man. Scientific name for the alligator How is alligator Mississippiness. Mississippiness. That's my rap name. Well, I should just make it up words. Yeah. There we go. Go right there. Tri-colored Herod. Something about, oh, they're all rescues so that you don't know how old they are. Oh. And eater. A gazelle. Mountain 
Kimbanga. Yeah, it's right. It is a turtle. Orangutan? Really? Yeah. Sleepy. Clouded. Leopard. Kingfisher. Here are a couple of giraffe facts. Giraffes can run as fast as 35 miles an hour over short distances or cruise at 10 miles per hour over long distances. Giraffes only need 5 to 30 minutes of sleep in a 24 hour period. Wow. They often achieve that in quick naps that may last only a minute or two at a time. A giraffe has an 18 inch long tongue. This critter. Some of the famous Naples toucan. Supply chain. Cheetahs never win. And they're the fastest land animal. if I want sunglasses or not today. Panther crossing. California new. Holy cow. Look at the size of that snake. Remember the jungle book? Was it a boa in jungle book? Trust in me. It's the bear. Look at the size of that thing. Up now. Oh. <laughs> Lego Venus flytrap. Stand straight up. We are on vacation. A cat of some kind? It looks like a rat cat. White ibis. <laughs> the bear is not frolicking exactly. Show him my old 
face. Oh. O face. That's totally a rat O face. No tiger today, I'm afraid. Many of our staff are unable to find the words to say, more like they're not allowed to say it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Many of our staff are Read that sign already. Don't let that wasp sting you now. Dang, these palmettos are old. Mountain Bongo in motion. Look, it's the Lion King. Did you know, you can hear a lion's roar from five miles away. Here are a couple of lion facts. Nearly all wild lions live in Africa below Sahara Desert. But one small population exists around Gur Forest National Park in western India. Young lions have rosettes spots on their bandy coats. These generally disappear as they mature. Only male lions have manes. Zebras use disruptive coloration to fool predators. I made expedition time. This is the National Zoo for I made expedition, sponsored by the Florida Everglades Hockey Team. Go play! We are now backing up into Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria gets its name from the largest lake in Africa. Lake Victoria in Africa has been there for about 400 million years. However, our Lake Victoria was dug out about 65 years ago. And it is full of brackish water. Brackish is just a combination of salt and fresh water which does attract lots of sea life. We have lots of snakes, turtles, iguanas, lots and lots of fish, yeah. but we have no alligators. All 12 of our alligators can be found in our alligator bay. If you do see something that looks like an alligator, it's probably just a coconut. As we are approaching our first island, please do remember no pointing. Instead, you can use a flat open palm gesture towards our primates. They find that a lot less offensive. Now on our left, left hand side here. This island is home to two Siamang gibbons. Siamang gibbons are a lesser ape native to Southeast Asia. Does anybody see them? No. no. Me neither. <laughs> She's like, me neither. <laughs> yeah, you think they're hiding a little bit, but today we do have two of them. They're like little black apes. They get the name lesser ape. They can only weigh up to 50 pounds, as opposed to your greater apes like your gorillas, orangutans, chimpanzees, things like that. They can weigh up to 500 pounds. So I see them underneath this shelter kind of holding on to that um, little grate. So it's around right here underneath this little house. You can use a flat hand if you want. We have a male and a female that live here. And they're known as a bonded pair, just meaning, meaning that they'll stay together for life. Now to reaffirm this bond every single morning, they'll actually sing each other a love song. It goes on for about 30 to 40 minutes each morning and can be heard up to two miles away. Making them the second loudest primate in the world, they can be heard up to four miles away. 
Now, does anybody know the difference between an ape and a monkey? Tail. Yep, you're right. Monkeys have tails. Apes do not. Which means that Curious George is an ape. Now, on our right-hand side here, this island will be home to three black and white colobus monkeys. Let's see one on that pole there. Now, black and white colobus monkeys are native to Central Africa, places like Chad and the Congo. I'm sure one of the first things you'll notice when we actually can see them is that long, beautiful tail they do have. Now, that tail cannot be used to swing with, but it can be used as a parachute or rudder as they free fall heights about 40 to 50 feet. <laughs> they can also run on all fours up its feet about 35 miles an hour. And they get that name Comet. <laughs> From a Greek term that means mutilated one. And that's just because they have no thumbs. Look, in the top of it. Oh, no. Can you see it? You can't really see his face. But we do have a father and two sons who live on this island. And a lot about captains will joke around and saying it's very easy to tell the difference between the three because the father is the one with the disappointed look on his face. <laughs> they actually all share that expression, but I promise you they are very sensitive. They just lack the facial muscles that we have in order to smile. So they'll always look as a snappy. Now they are considered old world monkey. Oh, there you go. Now you can kind of see his face. Now they are considered old world monkeys, and that is because you can find them in Asia and Africa. We're going to move on to see some new world monkeys coming up on our right hand side. This island will be home to three black handed spider monkeys. Black handed spider monkeys are native to South and Central America and parts of Mexico. Right hand side. I'm sure if you can use a flat palm, you guys. I can point. I know he's over there. Yes, I'm right there. Like that. Like that. Mira, me imagino así. As you can see, they don't look anything like spiders. They actually get that name because when explorers first came upon them on the island of Belize, they saw them hanging upside down, all sprawled out, so they just assumed that they were giant spiders. <laughs> upon a closer look, they realized they're actually just monkeys. They can't really see them, but we do have a big fluffy orange one that is our male of the island. I can see. He has a very manly name, by the way. His name is April. And then in front of him is his mate, Sprocket. And behind him is his mom, Savannah. Now we have seen apes and monkeys. We're going to move on to see some Procinians. Procinian just means before monkey or an ape. Does anybody know what came before a monkey or an ape? The answer would be lemurs. Lemurs actually existed about 65 million years before an ape or a monkey. And on our left hand side here, this island will be home to two ring tail lemurs. Wherever they are. See, last last door they were on the <laughs> ground here. I'm not sure. So they're gonna be right here. So I'm gonna make this little turn here. Just stay seated and just change the key. Oh, right So we have our male and a female here, and they are both a part of something called our species survival plan. That's called like that's like our species survival plan helps critically endangered like species the like our lemur help keep their populations growing. Basically, that just means that we're hoping for some lemur babies soon. Now, all lemurs are native to Madagascar. Has anybody Madagascar? seen the movie Madagascar? Yes. That's what I was telling her right now. Apparently, the only people on this tour are the ones that are in the back, guys. No. In the movie, there is a King Julian. However, then King Julian would be a fraud because only queens can lead. Just like elephants and hyenas. The lemur world is a matriarchal society. Which just means females rule. Does anybody know how a male lemur might attract a female lemur? Dancing. Some lemurs actually do dance. That that is true. But this one in specific actually has something called stink fights. Stink fights. It's mm -hmm. exactly what it sounds like. So they will rub their tails along their stink glands, kind of flick that tail into the nose of the other lemur, and pretty much the stinkiest lemur wins. <laughs> there are actually lots of videos online of lemurs having stink fights, if you're ever curious. They're actually really funny to watch because about 50% of the time, one of the lemurs will pass out. <laughs> it's very strong. 
It's rumored to be about 10 times worse than skunk spray, but we don't actually know. So we're going to head to our last and my personal favorite island coming up on our left hand side. And this island will be home to two different species. This island is home to two different species. A buff cheek gibbon, so another eight, and a black handed spider monkey. But what's special about this spider monkey is that he is 48 years old. In the wild, spider monkeys only live to be about 18, maybe 20. So he has more than doubled his lifespan here at the zoo. And we'd like to think that's because of all the amazing veterinary care that he receives and the fact that he lives oh, in a large front home in Naples, Florida. Baby, it looks like it's fine. Now, Gibson there is our buff cheek given the little black ape with the blonde cheeks. He is native to places like Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos. Black is male, blonde is female. However, when they are first born, they are born completely blonde to one of that mom. As they reach maturity, they get that black coat we see today. What good place to see the parrot? They look at point, which is ahead of us, where that bench is. Time is now 2.05. As we do return to the dock, just go ahead and bring in those arms, elbows, fingers, bones, everything inside of the boat. I like all the Lego things. This is dope. I don't even know what that, oh it's an eel. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen an eel with the with the beard thing. Deep sea, deep sea dragonfish, not an eel. One builder, 97 hours. It's Bunga the honey badger. Oh, look, he's trotting. Oh my god. Do you, have you seen you know the video I'm talking about? I have heard of that. It's so funny. We should stop what we're doing and watch the honey badger video. Here are a couple honey badger facts. Using their long claws, honey badgers dig burrows to rest in, sometimes on a daily basis. They'll do it anywhere, in the ground, a tree trunk, or even into an old termite mound. Honey badgers are omnivores who will go after mammals, birds, reptiles, insects, larvae, plants, fruits, eggs, and roots, and... Of course, they love honey. The honey bee are like in it. I don't know that it's that funny. It's, you gotta see. I've it. heard of it. It's and so I don't... funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's funny. That's what you gotta see the video. The honey badger. He's going around the other one. Oh, yeah. This is a royal palm. Gift shop time. Look at these shirts. I like this tie dye maple zoo shirts with the lemur. Look at all this jewelry. Oh. <laughs> Financial zoo. Take six. Take six. What did you learn today? Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids.